my university is the entire universe. So uh, you have dar bari dar madar. This, you know, it could be. Don't do it. Assalamu alaikum, sir. How are Muslim, you? You used to be Azan. You said you ch I changed you. You yeah. used to be Azan. Now you're Namaz. Nasin. <laughs> <laughs> So who are you talking about, man? I'm not the person you're talking about. <laughs> uh, not really. You are the person oh, so I'm talking you. about, so and you. I'm so excited taking the interview of Mr. Nicer, and I'm so proud um, and also a bit nervous because. So am I. Yeah, he's my mentor. He's my teacher, and I learned so many things from him. And today, as a student, I am taking. An interview of my teacher, which is really a very tough work. But uh, anyway, so sir, uh, mm. how is your feeling? I'm inflated. Let's not uh, the way you bottom me up. <laughs> uh, uh, I am really proud of this great speaker. I mean, Azan. Oh, I, I should hold it. Okay. So um, I'm really happy and excited, of course. You know, I'm a nervous bit, a bit, of course, because I'm facing a beautiful speaker, uh, Mr. Azan. And uh, I must use three words right now. I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and um, here I will say, um, as Nine Sir yeah. said, uh, I must mention three words, so yeah. uh, I'll be saying I must mention four words. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. I mean, uh, for his age, um, you are one of the examples in the way you are speaking. Sometimes I think that when I was at your age, maybe he is 14 or 16, I'm not sure, maybe 15. A fifth and a half. Okay, I even couldn't speak. You know, if you, if I had exploded a bomb in my stomach, a single word wouldn't have been, you know, uh, it, it wouldn't have come out. So now I am a little jealous, of course, <laughs> <laughs> because the way you are speaking uh, is beautiful. You could be, you could uh, be a great example around the world so thank you and uh, this is a lovely time right we are actually enjoying the nature mm. so sir as it's an interview so no. i'll be asking you some questions oh. and um i know nicer is not ready but his answers if you listen to him mm -hmm. you will see he is very prepared but he's actually not uh, which i think so sir my first question to yeah, you yeah. Um, you are a very good motivator. Oh. I know you'll not say it by yourself, yeah. but from my side and from the perspective of everyone, I have seen that you are actually dominating in the field of motivation and public speaking. So um, can you please tell a few words to the young generation who would also like to be a great motivator, a very good public speaker, as we know that in this time, a teacher also should be a great motivator. Uh, first, uh, I must say the praise and glory be to God. Alhamdulillah. Uh, praise be to Allah, of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, look, the question you have asked that how people can be motivated mm -hmm. and they could be good, good motivators. Uh, then you have a big heart and you have the art. Okay. When you have a big dream, that yeah, if you can, I can. That's it, Mr. Nine. Are you an alien? No. <laughs> okay. You find Elon Musk, right? Because you're human, and so am I. Exactly. Right. Uh, I can. I must have this confidence. But yes, I can. Inshallah, inshallah, I can. If I have a focal point, a bullseye. Okay. My target is the bullseye. I must throw my dart. And it will hit that point. Mm. And uh, sometimes society, your society will hold you back. You can't do that. Mm. Negatives and negatives, lots of negatives are there. Mm -hmm. You are swimming in the ocean of negatives. Exactly. Okay. So people are saying, no, you can't. 
It's not a way. He can, you can't. Mm -hmm. my, question, my question is, do they have many heads over the shoulders? No. Okay. So the first confidence is dream big. First confidence is if you can, I can. If you can speak, I can speak too. Well, the problem is in confidence. Exactly. The problem is nervousness. Nervousness has come automatically, it will go automatically. For example, Mr. Azan, let me say nicely and naively, before starting this interview, he said that I feel palpitations. But I believe he doesn't have the palpitations right now. Things are easy now, right? Do you have? Let not me feel. Really. No. He, his heart is not palpitating. Of course, beating. He's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> so when I face the people, face a ghost, face a tiger, whatever, if I can face with confidence, with voice, if you look at the tiger, even a royal, real Bengal tiger, real royal Bengal tiger, if you face, if you can face, uh, like a hero, if you can maintain eye contact with a voice, if you kill me, I'm going to kill you, Mr. Tiger. <clears throat> if you can do it, I'm nervous, of course. Then the tiger would be scared of you. The tiger would be scared of you. But do not let me do this. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my job, of course. So, the number one is, if you can, I can. Exactly. If you can, I can. Mm -hmm. Because you're a human, so am I. And number two, work with nervousness. Mm. So, wh what were they saying that always the beginning is very tough. Yeah. It's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. But when you come up with the flow, it's going to be very easy for you, mm -hmm. which we had. So at the very beginning of the uh, interview, I said I was extremely nervous. But <laughs> uh, when I successfully started the conversation, the interview, then it became easy for me. So, yeah, thank you so much. And mm. my second question, which oh, yeah. is going to be the last no question man. for you. <laughs> you <kill> me, yeah. <laughs> so that question yeah, yeah. is... Yeah. I like nature a lot. Uh, we have seen that, you see, when Nicer speaks, in his speech, he uses so many fantabulous words, which we even don't know. Or metaphors. Yeah. So, you see, metaphors, which is also an advanced word, which I even don't know. So, how we can actually know and do research about these words, which can actually take our um, level, the uh, speech level, into a next level. So, yeah. Well, uh, Asan, you read my mind. In uh, I'm lucky you noticed. <laughs> okay, metaphors, in you know, comparisons, similes. These are really important to be a speaker. Okay, I am trying my best to give examples. Because, you know, my life is very colorful and beautiful. <laughs> okay, uh, full of challenges and lots of things. Uh, I have met many people, many nice, nice people like you, like Hauser, like Mr. Tanzeev. Okay, people are around you behind the screen. Okay, sorry. I mean, uh, around the, uh, you know, behind the camera. Okay, the people are working. They're smiling nicely. Okay. So, uh, you have... Darbari dar, madadar. These, you know, it could be... Sometimes, oh my God, you are doing a video and dar uh, dar, You know, it could be an example, of course. Mm -hmm. Right. We sometimes we get bored. Sometimes yeah. we get bored. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know. Yeah. Very. And his voice is very sharp. Exactly. Very sharp. Look at the motivational voice. <laughs> yeah, he could be a good motivator. <laughs> dar if he tried. If he tried. <laughs> yeah, he would be a very nice motivator because you need a voice. Your voice is the Rolls, is your Rolls Royce. Okay, okay, girls and boys. So, uh, you know, I like rhymes a lot. Mm. So, back to the point. Your question is, uh, next level. <laughs> okay. So, when you have eyes to watch, eyes to notice. Okay, things are normal to me, but things are not normal to you. 
Mm-hmm. Something, for example, the dead leaf of a dialog, it just has dropped. Mm-hmm. Okay. It could be just a dead leaf, but it could be an artwork. For an artist, it's a subject. For me, ah, oh, it's a dead leaf, nothing, man, it's garbage, she can go. Right. But for some special people, it's a special. So to be a good speaker, to be a good writer, to be a good motivator, we must have that kind, that kinds of eyes. Third eye. Or that kind of eye. I mean, third eye. Okay, so things would be different to you. Things would be different to you. People are different to you. Some people are, you know, think you think that some people are boring and some people are not welcome. But for a special mind, for you who having a special mind, that man is special to you because you have you have got a special heart and you have got an art inside your heart. So naturally, you can you know how to welcome this. So when you have good eyes, different kinds of uh, or different kinds of eyes, things are nice. So f- to speak and write, to motivate, to motivate, you need examples, live, organic examples in it, not bookish examples only, not bookish examples, a peak example from the world. The world is very colorful and beautiful. Thing is, it's beautiful. It's not beautiful for everybody. It's beautiful for somebody. So let's put our signature in favor of nature. So thank you so much. Nature for... is a pictorial book. Exactly. And, and finally, if you allow me to say uh, just mm-hmm. uh, 10 seconds. My university is the entire universe. If you, you people ask me, which is your university? I said my entire universe is my university. It's a, it's a book. Of, I mean, it's a pictorial book. Nature is my teacher. Thank you. I learned Thank from nature. So nature is my teacher. Okay. Thanks a lot. So uh, it was really a wonderful time really? and mm. also a valuable time that, I mean, uh, I know that Nicer is really busy with um, different works and activities and classes and different sessions outside of the country. So, but he managed some time for the interview. Uh, I really liked a lot. Thank you so much for your valuable time. And uh, uh, I just want to say one thing. It is proved again that a teacher, a mentor is also a great motivator. So thank you so much, sir, for once again. And thank you so much, viewers, for uh, joining us. See with you in the next interview. It may be with someone or maybe with you. Bye-bye. Tara and assalamu alaikum.